my name is Debbie Hoffman. I'm Adult Services Librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. Who doesn't love Fanny Flagg? I, I love each time that I know that she's got a book coming out. I really, I, I have such anticipation for it. And the whole town's talking um, certainly fulfills all of my wishes. Um, of course, she's probably best known for Fried Green Tomatoes, which was made into the movie, but many, many, a myriad of other books she's written, nonfiction and fiction. Um, and this one is such an interesting book. Um, I want to say, do you hear, do you believe in ghosts? Because ghosts play a huge part in this, and in, in all of the very interesting characters that she brings forth that nobody else really can do quite like she does. Um, it's set in Elmwood Springs, Missouri. It's a small little town, and it originally is, is just, it's just open fields. And um, Nord, Nordstrom, I forgot to look at his name, Nordstrom from Sweden, from Sweden comes, in, is, is, comes in as an immigrant. He's looking for something that he can buy and grow and make a life out of. He buys this little farm, and then he and uh, all some, several other Swedish immigrants come in, and they make this wonderful community. Pretty soon, before you know it, uh, they're building a town, and, uh, and they need churches and more houses, and he needs a wife. So he goes ahead and gets a mail order bride from Sweden, and he and his wife make this wonderful life for themselves. And pretty soon there are more people and more people and more people. And they decide to build a cemetery, which is called Still Meadows, out on a hill. And they all, all the townspeople come together and they plot out what they need. And that's where everybody will go when they die. But when they start passing away, what they find is that they go to Still Meadows and they wake up. And yes, they are ghosts, but they can kind of figure out what's going on with the town. And as the town people come up to visit their um, deceased members, they learn more about what's going on in the town, so they kind of keep up with what's going on. It's an interesting, really wonderful way of showing what happens in the afterlife and the fact that people can come back and find some reconciliation, which, which happens over and over again. Really charming. If you're looking for a quirky little book that's really fun to read, I would highly recommend The Whole Town's Talking.